guys, welcome to Amaya TV. My name is JQ, and today we happen to be at the Kempiski Gold Coast Hotel. We are celebrating the men and women that work with our doctors across all financial facilities in the country. It's the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association 60th anniversary, and they are celebrating all the years of hard work that they've been giving to us Ghanaians in the various hospitals across the country. We'll talk to the president and also get the fun on how the nurses and the midwives get down when they are not in the hospital. So, hey, why, why stay and be boring? Come along with us. Let's go hang with the nurses and midwives of Ghana. I think if you look at where I'm working and then the previous data that was available at my sub district before I was sort of transferred there, I think those are the things that they look into because before I was transferred to where I'm working, I think we were having issues with how to identify some peculiar cases that we are supposed to manage, something like tuberculosis, HIV, which for the past years we were not able to record anything. But within the 2019-2020s, I was able to, with the support of my other colleagues, we were able to uh, identify five cases which are all currently on treatment. Then HIV-2, I think we also have an, some five cases and they are also on treatment. I think those are just the few things that we were able to achieve to take us this far. How long would you think this guy is going to help you in your work as a nurse and even your whole district or your whole area? How is this car going to help you in your work? I think people working in the communities usually think that they are not important to the health system. And I think for this award, it's going to tell my colleagues at the villages that anywhere you are where you are working with commitment and hard work, you will, be able to, you will get there one day. So I think this car is not for me, it's for all of us who are working in the various rural communities. Thank you. You talk, about, you talk about your place being a very far place. You think with this car you are one way or the other going to be in, in help of to all your you know, residents who need help to the hospital who might not be willing to? I think if, I, if you heard me right, when I say rural community, <laughs> if I send this car there first day, the next month you won't recognize the car. The road is very bad. But I think we will do our best. So guys, we are still at the 60th anniversary celebration of the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association. And we are very privileged to be joined by the longest serving member of the association. Welcome to Meow TV. Thank you. Today you are on the 32 years. How has that journey been for you? It wasn't easy. But as time went on, we picked gradually, gradually, and now things are a bit better. But from the beginning, it was even hard. Running the place was not easy. Those days, no money, no transportation, just like now that we have this internet, you can easily talk to somebody. Those days, oh, you have to suffer before you are able to communicate for people to come for even meetings. So it wasn't easy, it wasn't easy. And moving from Kolibu to our present place, we had a cubicle at Kolibu. It wasn't an office, a cubicle. 
and then moving things to that place, storage was also another problem. So you have to put everything into your head. You have to memorize everything. I'm telling that you. That sounds very tedious. So all this old past, 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 exactly that you saw there, everything is here, which I have to let it out for. So um, do you feel the association, do you feel it, it serves the purpose of bringing nurses and midwives together? Yes, yes. It's a good place. It's a good place. And uh, I'm praying that all the nurses will come together and belong to the association. Now, Ms. Jima, why do you think you were selected to be the best nurse from the Eastern region? I think uh, my job as a nurse has been very challenging in the region, precisely New Tafu Government Hospital where I work. Um, it's been very challenging, one, because we're working with few resources, with few staff inclusions, and then we have challenging and then a lot of difficult uh, uh, tasks that we need to tackle and solve almost every day. In fact, the work is very, very challenging. Um, for instance, the town folks are, let's say, not so much into uh, nursing and not so much into health issues. Most of the times, they go see to themselves and then when, they, when the conditions are worse, they run into us. And then I am at the emergency unit. So we always come into contact with complex conditions which we have to solve. So I'm always almost uh, solving uh, problems and solving issues of the patients and then the staff as well. That's how, you, how, do, how do you feel this award is going to encourage you in your work in, in the region? A lot. In fact, this award has given me a step higher. It has, it has boosted my morale. And it has given me something to look out and, and stand for. Meaning that I can do well and even do better than what I have done. And be the best. And being the best. In the coming year, our focus in our, is on our six thematic strategic areas. We are looking at uh, bettering our leadership and governance. We are looking at training, research, and education of our members. We are looking at welfare issues. We are also looking at influencing policy. So these are the areas that are going to guide us in all our activities and in all our actions. So that is going to be the focus. Just to say that we are proud of you wherever you are in Ghana. We say Ayuko to you. All this that we are doing is for all of you. You are not left out. And we hope the coming years are going to make us stronger and better as a union and also to improve our own conditions of service. Thank you.